everyone welcome back so in the previous video we have talked about bulk import means uh, using the partial so in the previous video we have added mark uh, for instance let's say we have forgot uh, you, uh, in the bulk import means we can use uh, using the partial or using the azure portal so in the previous video we have talked about uh, partial and use the following commands so i have kept the links in the description so that you can watch and if you want to add uh, bulk users in the partial, you can use a notepad and uh, you can include all the users name and uh, you can just copy and paste it. So this is how simple it is. And uh, coming to today's video, we'll be restoring the deleted user. Let's say uh, unwantedly or mistakenly, you have this deleted user uh, from the Azure portal. Let's say how, how it can be retrieved. So right now, you know, like, let's delete one of the user here. Let's click the user and to know more about the user, you can see uh, in the left hand side, the roles that he has been assigned to. So it has not been assigned to any role or anything like that. And the groups that he's included in. So you can see like more information about the user if you want to uh, know more about it. However, let's go back and let's delete the uh, user room. Let's click OK. So now successfully we have deleted the user. So let's refresh this. Uh, the user is still there. So we have to use a uh, few more re uh, refresh buttons. If that doesn't work, let's refresh whole portal. There you go. So now uh, Arun has been disappeared. So now let's say like he's an important guy and uh, he has some privileges with him and so on. Let's say like some X, Y, Z reasons. So let's uh, let's retrieve that particular user uh, which has been deleted. For that, there is a column called uh, deleted users. Here you can see under manage, we have deleted users. So let's click that. And you can see all the deleted users here. So you can restore them just by clicking uh, the checkbox and you can see there is an option called restore users. So this is how simple it is. So if you want to restore all the users, you can just click on the display name and everything will be selected and uh, you can just restore those users. So this is how you can do that, but you have to do within 30 days. If that crosses 30 days, then uh, it will be disappearing. Like you can't see the users. So this is the time frame in which you have to do this particular operation in order to retrieve the users names that you have deleted. So this is how you can do that. So let's uh, restore uh, Arun in this case. Let's restore that. Let's click OK. And it will be disappearing from this uh, deleted users and it will be appearing in our uh, users list. So as you can see, the person has appeared in our uh, main directory. So this is how you have to do that. And let's say for instance, you also need to add some Windows 10 application like Windows 10 license to the user account. For that, let's click uh, Arun and uh, here under manage users, if you check licenses, click the license here. Right now we don't have any licenses associated with this particular user. So if you click assignments, so you can uh, select appropriate license and you can select appropriate uh, premium where if you want uh, to add P2 or uh, just a different or something like that. So based on your needs, you can just add them. So you can just click this and uh, you just need to save it and the license will be updated. So this is how you can also assign the licenses too. So I hope you guys have understood this concept. So this is the completion of uh, task one. I mean the lab one, which is uh, managing user roles and the model is implement uh, and uh, additive management solution. So we have successfully completed the lab and uh, I'll be keeping the relevant videos in the description so that you can watch them too. So if you have understood the video, please like the button. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thank you everyone.